Hello and welcome to It's Free IP. I'm your host, Felix Chaplin, and today I'd like to tell you a bit about U.S. copyright law. This video will have a question and answer structure, so if there's a specific question you'd like answered, check the description for the chapters. Before getting into the meat and potatoes of this video, I must offer this disclaimer. I'm not a lawyer. I've never spent a single day in law school. I'm just putting this video together based on my own research. This is not an exhaustive explanation of every aspect of copyright law, and more importantly, this is not legal advice. With all that out of the way, let's get on with the video. 1. What is copyright? Merriam-Webster defines copyright as the exclusive legal right to reproduce, publish, sell, or distribute the matter and form of something, such as a literary, musical, or artistic work. When you make a creative work like a drawing, painting, book, poem, song, movie, and so on, you automatically own the copyright to the thing you've created. Ideas can't be copyrighted. If you own the copyright to a work, people need your permission to use your work, and financial compensation is generally involved in the form of royalties. 2. How long do copyright protections last? If a work was made before 1989, or the rights are owned by a corporation, its copyright protections will last for 95 years. If the work was made after 1989 by an individual, it lasts for the author's lifetime plus 70 years. The latter is the case because the U.S. joined the Berne Convention in 1989, and member countries of the Berne Convention adhere to the life plus 70 years copyright term. 3. How do works enter the public domain? This can happen a number of ways. 1. If a work's existence predates the establishment of any copyright laws, i.e. it was never protected by copyright to begin with. 2. If a work's copyright expires, at the time of this recording, works made before 1928 are in the public domain in the U.S. 3. If it was made by the government, which is why propaganda films, educational films, and music recorded by any U.S. military band are all in the public domain. 4. In the case of older works, not having the proper copyright notice in a work would make it public domain, but this is no longer the case since works get automatically copyrighted today. Or five, a work gets dedicated to the public domain, either upon publication or if the author relinquishes their copyright. Four, what is fair use? Fair use refers to the circumstances under which copyrighted material can be used without permission from its respective owner. These include parody, education, commentary, criticism, and news reporting. There is no set percentage of a work that can be used for it to be considered fair use, so as long as you stay within the bounds of what's allowed, you should be good. Five, what is Creative Commons? Creative Commons is basically like diet copyright. Rather than providing all the protections that a conventional copyright affords, a Creative Commons license gives people more freedom to use works in transformative ways, provided that they follow the rules associated with whatever license the work is copyrighted under. You can also copyright your work with a Creative Commons license for free. Six, how does YouTube's copyright system work? YouTube's copyright system was designed in accordance with the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, or DMCA. YouTube has an automated content ID system that detects the presence of copyrighted material in a video and notifies the copyright owner, and that's the extent of YouTube involvement in the process. Copyright owners are the ones that issue copyright claims and strikes. The content ID system is far from perfect. It can't determine whether or not the use of copyrighted material falls under fair use. It can sometimes misidentify material, and in my own experience, it can even flag material that's in the public domain. Being familiar with copyright law in the public domain can be very useful when disputing copyright claims, because some companies will falsely claim ownership of public domain materials, even though doing so is a federal crime. When you dispute or appeal a copyright claim, sometimes the supposed copyright owners opt to just wait out the 30 or 70 day response period respectively, to just passively take whatever ad revenue gets generated by your content. These are both things I've had to deal with, and it quite honestly sucks, but I digress. If you'd like to learn more about how to navigate the process of disputing copyright claims and strikes, I'll include a card here with a video containing more detailed information. I'll also link that video in the description. That's all the time we have for today's video. If you learned anything new or have any experience dealing with the things I've mentioned in this video, be sure to tell me in the comments below. While you're at it, like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring the notification bell so you'll be the first to see what's new from It's Free IP.